So, Jigger versus Freeport. Boy, is this an important question. Let me show you something here. I'm going to cut a lemon. And I'm going to squeeze it into my glass. Um, let's say I'm making a sour over here. I'm going to squeeze a little lemon into my glass. All right. And I'm looking at that, and I'm saying, that's not enough for a sour. I need a little bit more. Let's put a little more in there. Now I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that's looking pretty good here. That's probably about three quarters of an ounce. Why don't we find out? That's three quarters of an ounce. Let's see how close I am. Not bad. We're there. This is what you need for a drink. Now let's say you're free pouring, and you've uh, got your three quarters of an ounce in your bottle down there. You've got your ice in your jar over here, and you squeeze in or you pour in. How are you going to find that line? Where, how are you going to know what three quarters of an ounce is if you're a free pour bar? If you're a jigger bar, no problem. Put your ice in, pour away, and measure all your ingredients. And you know something? If you're a young bartender, new on the job, this is your friend. You want to use this. And the good combination, three quarter, one and a half, one half, one, covers all the bases. A bar spoon, two of them is about a quarter of an ounce. So you've got all those measures at your disposal. But if you're a free pour bar, you need to see these lines from the moment you start. You need to be able to, in a moment's notice in a dark bar, make the call. And I even have a lemon, a larger one for lemon here. You need to make the call. You need to squeeze or pour that juice in. And you need to say to yourself, because you're in a hurry, is that three quarter? I don't think so. I think it's a little shy. So you bring a little bit more in. That's the line you need to see. So if you put the ice in there first, how are you going to see that line? Now you need your sweet ingredient which is about double that. So you put your sweet ingredient in it, you double it up. That's going to make a good drink. But what if the ice was in there? How would you see that line? Now you could put the ice, because for all intents and purposes, this drink is done. You have created the sweet and sour balance. Now you put the strong in. We all can pour a straight, a shot of one and a half ounces by counting. I'm sure you guys have counted, measuring, whatever. But this is the critical step right here. So don't put your ice in if you're a free pour bar and you're making a sour drink. Put your sour followed by your sweet, followed by your strong, and you're going to get a perfect drink every time, a consistent drink every time.